Family engagement is all about the relationship between the family and the home visitor. It's about building genuine respectful relationships with families in order to support family well-being, positive parent-child interaction, and ongoing learning and development of both the child and the parent. It is working in partnership with the parent to help their children to develop their full potential and to build family resiliency. I think this process starts with the trust that families have with your agency. In our case, consistently community trust established throughout the 29 years of the Latino Community Development Agency's existence has helped us evolve into a clearinghouse of Hispanic services. Our successful outreach to Hispanic families is partly due to our well-known reputation and to the many services we offer in one single location, making it us a one-stop shop. So reducing this trust language and cultural barriers can help with family engagement. In our case, hiring, qualifying bilingual and bicultural staff is imperative in order to engage the population we serve. We can measure families engagement in the many different ways that the families are participating in services. It can include uh, the number of home visits completed, the time span that families receive services and how active families are when participating in the visits. For example, are the families punctual or connect on time for the home visits? Are they ready and prepared with the materials for the parent-child interaction? Are they active in the selection of topics for activities? Are they participating in the group connections? Another way you can see families engagement is when they actively refer other families or friends to the program. It shows not only how invested they are in the program, but also that they want others to benefit from the same services that they are. Now, this is a parallel process. So staff retention is also important because the continuity of services over a long period of time allows the workers to establish a strong trusting relationship with the families. In our case, I have been in the home-based services in our agency for almost 27 years. The supervisor of the program has been with me almost 15 years. The lead parent educator has been with me 18 years. And the average time of, the, of all the PEs is six years. So this stability has helped us maintain engagement with the families and solidify retention. So well-trained and qualified staff helps with family engagement and retention and is key component for the program success. When families stay in the program, it is clear a clear indicator that a good report has been established. So definitely the stability of the providers and continuity of services allows the workers to better support the overall family well-being and to help families reach their individual goals, keeping them engaged and focused. This engagement can look a little different depending on how long the family has been in the program. Newly enrolled disengaged families are harder to get a hold of. We find that they are more hesitant to answer phone calls, texts, emails, and video conferences. But further along into the home visiting process, process, you can see a level of disengagement when families start canceling or not showing for home visits. 
Other signs include when they are constantly on their phone during visits, when their family asks you to have the home visit while their child is napping because they want time with you, but for themselves, or when they don't want to sit on the floor to do the parent-child interaction, or they want the PE to interact or play with their child while they do other things. This happens probably because the families don't know what you expect of them or they don't understand clearly the goals of the program or simply they have other priorities. Our, our PEs contacted all their families immediately to inform them of the decision halting all face-to-face -face home visits and kept them updated about COVID information and recommendations from the Oklahoma State Department of Health and the CDC. They took the time to listen to the family's fears and concerns and provide resources as needed. They established and explain the new way to connect with them through video conferencing or telephone calls and what to expect with this format change. The PEs try to keep the same schedules they had with the families prior to the pandemic, but they had to be extremely flexible and accommodating the visits to meet the family's new needs. They had to walk the families through every step on how to use this new platform of communication. They had to spend time helping families with the new challenges like the children's online learning, not having a job, dealing with financial stressors, more conflicts arising due to the confinement, testing positive for COVID, etc. They also provided the families with a lot of mindful, fun, meaningful activities for the entire family and provided as much information on how to manage their stress and emotions. They help families recognize their strengths and give them opportunities to build on their resiliency to help them through these difficult times. In other words, active listening to families being empathetic with their situation and providing basic needs and concrete support was essential. Many of, of my staff said being flexible is one strategy, strategy that has helped them the most to maintain family engagement. Now, they also mentioned that providing families with community resources and concrete support helped them tremendously too. They are constantly sending resources to the families and have found that to be a way to stay in touch with them consistently. Our funding source allows us to move the mileage funding that we were not using as much due to the pandemic to the supplies category, allowing us to purchase arts and crafts materials and other educational toys for the families. And this helped the PEs tremendously to facilitate the parent-child interaction activities virtually. The families were excited to do the parent-child activities with the new materials and even more excited to continue the interactions outside of the visits. We also got donation of masks, diapers, wipes, and we were able to provide families with those concrete supports. Now, one of my PE mentioned that practicing and strengthening her active listening skills was the game changer for her because her visits were more intentional and valuable to the family, which led to having a better dynamic and relationship with the family. Words of wisdom. As I mentioned before, home visiting is a parallel process. So supporting our staff is essential. Reflective supervision is extremely important. 
we have not changed any of our reflective practices because we know that the reflection, the collaboration, and the regularity of this practice is the primary way in which we can support our staff. This sacred time can assure them that they are not alone in doing this very important work. <laughs>